Hello, hello, and welcome to Sonya's View on this channel. Today we're going to make some homemade, get this, honey barbecue chicken nuggets. We're going to need some chicken breast. I will be using this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, honey, self rising flour. I have it in my Dollar Tree container. I'm going to use a little bit of this salt, but it's only for cleaning purposes. The last thing you're going to need is a pair of kitchen shears, and I purchased this from my local Dollar Tree for $1. Dollar. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, this is optional, is your meat, do what you want to, but this is how I do mine. The first thing I want to do is discard all of this fat. You don't want to consume this in your body if you can help it. Get your little bat off to the side, take that off, we're going to throw that away. It may look like you're throwing away a lot, I'd rather put you throw it away than put it inside your body. So that is everything that came off of that chicken. It is so important to discard this. To work at a chicken plant and we use to fillet these chickens like this for Chick-fil-A and other places. A lot of times they wouldn't allow us to take all this off, but I think it's so important not to put this in your body if you can help it. After cleaning your chicken breast, your water should look clear just like this. Next thing you want to do is to make sure that you clean your shears once again. I've cleaned my bowl over here to the side. You take your chicken breast, cut. Now that's a fairly big chicken nugget. So we're going to go down the middle and cut it. So when you're cutting your chicken breast, there is no wrong way of making nuggets. Make sure your hands are clean. This is how chicken breast is looking. It has a lot of water in it, which you want to keep that because the way we're going to coat it in the flour, so it will make the chicken crispy by you keeping some of this water.
Okay, so I have removed all of my chicken nuggets from the cooking oil. Now you want your chicken to be extra crispy. What you see here is a long bake pan. Inside of here, I inserted a cookie sheet. This is a cookie cooling rack. And the reason I use this is because anytime that you're frying your foods, if you put the food on top of this cookie cooling rack, this is what's gonna happen. Once all that food begins to drain, do you see all that grease it caught? So that is why I always use a cookie cooling rack to drain all of my fried food. So we're gonna let that sit there for a moment. But while that is sitting, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven on a temperature of 450 degrees. So when your chicken is done, it should look just like this. Little to no grease. Little to no grease. Doesn't that look delicious? So I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together. Until next time, be blessed.